This is bad news for Oilers fans as Connor McDavid is out with injury for two to three weeks. This happened very early in the Edmonton vs. Columbus game, where McDavid is streaking along the side, and it sort of looks like Wierenski might have gotten his stick on one of McDavid's skates. McDavid awkwardly falls into the boards. He tries to make some plays, but he ultimately leaves the ice without putting too much pressure on one leg. He leaves the game and doesn't return. Going back to scheduling, the Oilers release the news that he will be out for two to three weeks. Looking at the schedule and applying the worst case scenario of three weeks, McDavid could miss around 11 games and be back for the Utah game on November 29th. Sure, he could recover earlier, but worst case scenario, this is bad news for Oilers fans. The Oilers are off to a slow start with four wins, five losses, and one overtime loss. While it is only for a high of 11 games, the Oilers have not performed that well without McDavid in the lineup. They have a record of six wins, eight losses, and five OT losses when he isn't playing. Even though it is a small sample size, take a look at these stats. Without McDavid, they generate one less goal per game, and their power play percentage takes a hit as well. So far, this season has not gone well, even with McDavid in the lineup. The Oilers are last place for goals per game at 2.2 goals per game. Their shooting percentage is the worst at 3.1%. It gets even worse when looking primarily at 5-on-5 five five where their shooting percentage is 2.3%. The Oilers need their players to step up and get out of this bad groove. They need some of their star players to set the pace while McDavid is out. Zach Hyman scored 54 goals last season, and he is goalless so far. Ryan Nugent Hopkins has only one goal and three assists so far. They need Leon Dreisaitl to take over and lead the team. Every point matters in this league and slow starts can just dig an unnecessary hole for yourself. What do you guys think? Are the Oilers in trouble? If guys like Hyman and Nuji can start producing, I think the Oilers will be just fine. But if they can't, it's going to be a tough two to three weeks for Oilers fans. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.